you might feel hurt by it. And that's an opportunity. Yeah. And so if it's oftentimes we can really grow when those kind of things happen, when we ask for feedback and it isn't, what, you know, we allow whatever it is to unfold and it does hurt, then, you know, maybe, maybe there's something deeper there that we actually, maybe the feedback isn't necessarily on the thing itself that we needed, but maybe there's a deeper lesson there. You know, maybe that this whole situation came forward to help us uh, heal a, a deeper, maybe a deeper trauma or a deeper um, struggle that we're experiencing that we've suppressed for a very long time. And this, this very thing, the situation has come forward to help us unearth that. Yeah. And one of the other things that we do that I really kind of love and we laugh about it all the time is safe words. <laughs> not those kind of safe words, <laughs> but safe words in conversation mm -hmm. during feedback, right? Mm -hmm. Because it can make you laugh mm -hmm. if you're in the midst of it. So if you're being open and vulnerable and someone says something that is way too triggering or way too hurtful, if you have a pre-established conversation safe word, it can be so helpful like banana mm -hmm. or pineapple, which is, <laughs> yes. you know, something that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. It can, if you're giving me feedback and it's like triggering me, triggering me, triggering me, and I yell, pineapple! <laughs> <laughs> like, how can that not immediately lighten the mood mm -hmm. and let you know in a very jovial way, like, okay, I'm hitting a nerve here. Mm -hmm. And... Maybe I need to step back from my communication and look at, am I being critical or am I giving feedback? Yeah. Because there is a difference in the way that you give feedback too. Am I being constructive and am I being helpful and offering that? Or am I in a space where I'm being hypercritical and I need to readdress too? Yeah. And so having a safe word in conversation is important equally as much, right? <laughs> so it's just a fun way where if you're headed in and you're like, okay, I'm going to ask for your feedback, but I want to pre-establish a safe word. So if I feel like I'm being attacked instead of I'm getting feedback, I'm going to yell this word and you're going to know what that means. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's a disarming it pattern interrupt, right? Exactly. For both, for both parties, right? So, yeah. um, yeah, <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we were, we were watching, uh, Ted Lasso for anyone who, who loves it. And, and one of the things that they, uh, Ted was, was sharing is that they say Oklahoma and that's like a way to kind of disarm and just say, okay, no, actually when this is said, I have to tell the truth. Yes. And so when they're sharing about what's going on and they're like, you know, are you good? And they're like, He's like, yeah. And then someone says, no, Oklahoma. And he's like, okay, no, I'm not. I'm not good. Um, it's it's a way to kind of be, it's a great way to be vulnerable and to trust that the other person is there holding that space, being loving and still being in the flow. But the other person can't give the feedback or or share in the way if we're not willing to be fully vulnerable. And so that's where this really it comes in as a, as a great tip to kind of as you said, make it jovial, like have it be a fun experience. Um, and so, cause yeah, feedback can get, you know, gnarly pretty quickly. You know, it can really, it can really like shift and turn unintentionally very negative and very, you know, and that's not going to help anyone, you know? So when we can keep it light and keep it enjoyable, I mean, that's what, that's what love feels like. Love feels, it shouldn't feel heavy. It should feel light. Yeah. And so when you use this under that vulnerable tip, it just helps you remain vulnerable and not worry that you're going to be attacked for me. Mm -hmm.